Meet Link, a shy, introvert boy who wanted nothing more than to be a hero, and adored by all the princesses across the land. However, these princesses all looked the same. Sadly, the princess he loved the most would randomly stop and fire magical arrows into the sky, then go for a casual but deadly dip in the ocean. Ah, sweet princess, rest in peace. Absolutely riddled with self-doubt, Link would often feel small, but even in the face of adversity, he knew he was destined for something great. <laughs> nice hat, green dude. Did your mom make it for you? Fight me. Aw, oh, little Link, you look so adorable with your sword and shield. Well, I'll show you, I'm a hero. Feeling insignificant, Link was beginning to feel like an outsider, different from everybody else, and a little bit twisted and upside down. If you ask me, he didn't look right. Until one day, Link's grandma sent him a letter, telling him she had created a soup to help him grow big and strong. Without much thought or care, Link jumped aboard his trusty boat, which could do front flips and could even do a barrel roll. It was really cool and stuff but it was also very slow. Luckily, Link could use the Wind Waker to play a melody to warp him to Grandma's house faster than he could sail. If only he could remember the melody. Eventually, Link reached Outset Island, where Grandma lived. Vacantly, he made his way to Grandma's house, blissfully unaware of the tale that was about to unfold. When Link stepped inside Grandma's house, she wasn't looking so hot, but quickly snapped out of it. Grandma, I need your potion to grow big and strong. Grandma? Suddenly, out of nowhere, Grandma began to grow. Uh, Grandma? Uh, you, you can stop now. Oh, great. Turns out she'd been hitting the soup she'd made a little too hard. Grabbing what was left of Grandma's soup, Link quickly headed out the door. Once outside, he began to notice that the other people on the island had been drinking Grandma's soup too. They would end up growing into grotesque and stretched figures, towering above Link with their big, stupid heads. It was gross. Cautiously, Link drank the soup, hoping to not become a monster or something. And to his amazement, the soup worked. He was now 10 feet tall and had the face of a god. For the first time in his life, Link felt special. And he looked pretty special too. Now the only downside with Grandma's soup was that it wouldn't last very long. And when it wore off, the side effects were a little unusual. Link didn't exactly like how the soup made him feel, but he wouldn't let that stop him. He was to become a hero. Link had heard of trouble on a distant island. Something about dragons? I don't know. Anyway, Link once again hopped into his boat, which was having its own story about personal growth. Dragon Roost Island was pretty far away, but now, because I said so, Link had a speedboat. This got them to the island in record time, but when they arrived, they found the island had been taken over by many large dragons. This filled Link with the kind of fear he'd never felt before, but he pushed on. The people of Dragonroost Island were a strange bunch, their heads just didn't seem to quite fit their bodies. They also liked to wedge themselves into the ground, and Link, not wanting to offend them, did the same. They asked Link to venture into the fiery cavern to rid them of the dragons, to which Link replied, I don't really know about this. Inside the cavern, Link realized he would have to reach the top of this fiery hellhole in order to confront the leader of the dragons. Link then used his knees of courage to rise into the air and reach the top of the cavern. At the top, Link entered the dragon's lair, which was a little too cramped for these guys. Link pleaded with the dragons to leave the island in peace, and they agreed but only if Link performed a ceremonial dance for them. Of course, Link obliged and gave them a real show, pulling his best moves. He didn't even know his legs could do that, but to save the world, he would go to any length. With the dragons appeased, Link left the dragon's lair, and just like that, the dragons were gone. But the land wasn't completely at peace just yet. Link would still have to face the greatest threat to the world, the one known as Ganondorf. And Link was gonna have to get tough.
After much training, Link was finally ready to battle Ganondorf in a fight to the death. He made his way to Ganondorf's castle, and to his surprise, Ganondorf was just a giant crab. Well, I uh, didn't see that coming. Anyway, Link began to change and grow stronger. But still, this random crab, I mean, this was a really random twist in the story, this crab just couldn't be beaten. Link had only one choice, to change into his final form, a glowing beast of complete destruction. And Ganondorf, the crab, was finally taken care of. And this is where the story of Link, the hero, comes to a close. Apparently, he and Zelda finally got it together, and they lived happily ever after. And some say this story never happened at all. All I know is, what on earth did I just see? Hey guys, Andy here, and thank you very much for watching the first episode of For Hack's Sake. The format for the show isn't 100% yet, I just wanted to do something a bit different and have fun with it. A huge shout out to Cosmo Courtney who helped me a ton on this episode and figuring things out. She has some absolutely insane hacks and things on her channel, so click this link to go and check her out. And as always, if you like this, hit that like button, share with everyone you know and love, and subscribe if you want to see more from the series.